Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I'm fine. Kisumu is also fantastic. Maybe you could let me know where you are watching the video from. The county, in case you are inside this republic, or the country, in case you are outside Kenya. I know majority of the subscribers on this channel are actually outside the country. A major crisis is looming in Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka is clearly out to chart his own political path away from Raila Odinga and former president Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And for those who follow the politics of this country very closely, Kalonzo Musyoka was very clear when he joined Azimio that the moment Raila Odinga was going to be sworn in, which didn't happen, he was going to start embarking on 2027 political journey. Indeed, he confirmed that he was going to follow the path William Ruto followed in 2022. <laughs> Na wewe ulikuwa unakashirikia Raila kama mimi. Basi wewe pungu, punguza 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 pressure. Ndio sasa tuokoe Kenya kwanza. Lakini tutaanza hapa turudi nyuma. Tumeona vile wengine unaona ukweli usemi. Huyu mtu anaitwa Ruto alijua anataka kuja kugombea kiti. Kwa hivyo alipokuwa deputy governor akaanza campaign hapo hapo. Yangu nimejua nimejifunza hapo kwa Ruto. Nitaanza tuweke Raila na mimi nianze the following day. Sikisema Raila. So in this video I want us to look at why Kalonzo Musyoka, a man I'm actually willing to support, <laughs> is planning to chart his own political path away from Raila Odinga and Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Before we do that, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support, because without the support, this channel cannot be where it is. And I want to make a request to you guys, specifically on this video, please press that thumbs up button now. Now let us get back to the main issue. And I want to begin by asking you, a question. Do you think Raila Odinga will be on the ballot again in 2022? Yes or no answer. I'm asking this because if you go to Kibra today, Kamkunji grounds, yesterday they opened that grounds for debates and in that debate they were in agreement that they'll be waiting for the direction or the directive from Raila Amolodinga. And personally, I'm reading different thing from that particular event which took place in Kamukunji in Kibayesai. Just, I just want to play for you a short clip of that particular event. Agree. You allow who the party has directed to lead us that direction. You have been rewarded you are an MP. Direct ticket. An ODM. Here, here, here in Nairobi, everybody had direct ticket. It's only here in Kibra, Langata, and Westlands where we had to go through nomination. So what reward do you need? And anybody who is above 35 years old, you are not a youth. So you cannot blackmail the party and Baba. Then you say you owe nobody an apology. You owe Baba and the party an apology. Maybe we will look at that particular event in a separate video once we get the full details. Now, Kalonzo Musyoka, in my view, has a good chance of becoming the next president of the Republic of Kenya. And whether he can realize that in 2027 is something which I still can't tell. What I know for sure is that from the time Mwai Kibaki took over office in, 20, in, in 2002, he successfully defended his seat through rigging in 2007. 
Uhuru was elected in 2013. Again, he defended his seat in 20 in 2012. I mean, in 2017. William Ruto was sworn in as the president of the Republic of Kenya last month, and I don't think actually this month, and I don't think, I don't think he will fail to defend his seat in 2027. So maybe Kalonzo Musyoka is looking at post 2027, and that journey is beginning it today. And there are several factors which are forcing Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka to start charting his own political path. Number one is the Martha Karua factor in Azimio. Martha Karua was Raila Odinga's running mate. And as, as fate would have it, Martha Karua and Rigadi Gashagwa are now the dominant Kikuyu's leaders from uh, that region. And if you look at uh, the way politics is, it is projected that Ruto and Gashagwa are likely to fall out. And if they are going to fall out, then Martha Karua is going to wait somewhere for the fruit to fall. So that in 2027, Martha Karua can actually be on the ballot as a Kikuyu presidential candidate in the hope that she can actually get the support of the Kikuyu. So Martha Karua factor is also at play. Number two is the ODM factor in Azimio. ODM is the dominant party in Azimio. Assuming Raila Odinga will not be running, do you think Azimio, ODM will just agree to support Kalonzo Musyoka? They have Oparanya, they have Joho, who are in the party, and they are still waiting for the direction from Raila Amor Odinga. So I think ODM as a political party could also be the reason why Kalonzo Musyoka is deciding to chart his own political path. And then there is the Muslim Davadi factor in Ruto, in, in, in Kenya Kwanza. Of course, Muslim Davadi is going to be the prime cabinet secretary. And just like I did uh, explain in one of my videos, Muslim Davadi is going to be very powerful. And Ruto is looking at Muslim Davadi for the purposes of 2027 election. So which means Muslim Davadi is going to be William, part of William Ruto's 2027 equation. But if Ruto is going to serve ten, two terms, which would be 10 years, then it means in 2032, Muslim Ravadi would be a credible candidate. And that's a factor which is also at play. And then there's also the Raila Odinga factor. Will Raila Odinga be on the ballot or not? If Raila Odinga will be on the ballot, definitely ODM party will sponsor Raila Odinga as their preferred candidate. If he's not be going to be on the ballot, then Raila Odinga will have to make a choice whether to support Kalonzo or Karua. And of course, Kalonzo Musioka must start campaigning now. Now, but why is Kalonzo Musioka embarking on this journey right now? Number one, Kalonzo Musioka is keen on inheriting Raila Odinga's support base. And the truth of the matter is that if you look at the Lunyanza, they are so happy with Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Why? Because Kalonzo Musyoka delivered to Azimio. He came late, he was frustrated, he delivered. You look at um, this other guy, Martha Karua, had the opportunity, failed. Ruto, the way I'm reading the Luo Nation, they might embrace him, but just a fraction of the Luo Nation might embrace him. So which means there's a huge junk, chunk of Luo Nation who would easily go to Stephen Kalonzo way. But how can they go to Stephen Kalonzo way? They must see Kalonzo Musyoka as a serious presidential candidate. And that's exactly what Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka is doing. And if he's not doing that, I want to advise Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka that this is the time to win the Luos, the support of the Luos, when they still value him. Because politics is dynamic. It keeps on changing every now and again. So in my view, I tend to think that Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka is planning to go to start chatting his own political path with a view of winning the support of the Luo nation, whether for 2027 or whether for 2032. But that is the fact. The fact is, this is the moment for him when the Luo still value him, when the Luo still believe that he actually delivered for Raila Amolo Odinga. And of course, if you go to places like Coast, Kalonzo Musyoka also performed well there. And with the support of Raila Odinga's support base, he can easily get the vote. And I've, I've always told people that 
the only person who was so easy to make the president of the Republic of Kenya was Muselem Davadi. But he, he makes it very difficult. But if you try that with Kalonzo Musyok, I don't think he can let it slip. If, for example, Raila were to support Kalonzo, the entire Kampani region will vote for Kalonzo. The entire Luo nation will definitely vote for Kalonzo. Coastal region. And Kalonzo has a soft spot. I mean, the, the, the Kikuyu nation has a soft spot for Kalonzo. They can easily also vote for him. So the fact is, Kalonzo is looking at inheriting a ruling as a support. Number two, Kalonzo Musyoka plans to be the face of the opposition politics in this country. Opposition politics is good. It's easy to sell. And people can easily buy it. Because so many things normally happen. Take for example Ruto who was elected the president of the Republic of Kenya. Why was he elected? Because he, he took the face of opposition politics in the country. And because because Kenya Kwanzaa government is definitely going to fail big time, Kalonzo Musyoka can play that opposition role so well, and Kenyans will be better with Kenya Kwanzaa, will rally around him. It, I mean, there's nothing as good as playing the opposition politics, and that is what Kalonzo Musyoka is actually trying to use. Number three, Kalonzo Musyoka is also keen on following or trying to copy William Ruto's uh, strategy of 2022. William Ruto decided that he was going to run for the presidency way in 2013. He started planning. People accused him of early campaigns, but he, he searched on. Kalonzo Musyoka is hoping that he can still pursue that same, same path. And of course, in the earlier video I played, that was his strategy. So in the hope that if he plays it well, then by the time Kenyans will be going to the elections, he, will, he shall have maybe met, I mean, covered the entire country, like Ruto. Ruto, by the time Chebukati opened the period for campaigns, he didn't need any introduction. Everybody knew that Ruto was going to be on the ballot. And number four, I also tend to think that Kalonzo Musyoka has learned his past mistakes, that he didn't have serious grassroots support. And for you to become the president of the Republic of Kenya, you need that grassroots support. The constitution is very clear that elections are normally decided at the polling station. So it will give him enough, uh, uh, enough time to create networks up to all grassroots support. I mean, up to all the polling centers. And lastly, Kalonzo Musyoka needs to mobilize resources. And for him to do that, it means he has to push until people will see potential in him. So that if Kenya Kwanzaa is going to goof, they'll see Kanuzo Musyoka as the alternative. And I tend to think that is part of his strategy. And if it's not part of his strategy, then I think Kanuzo Musyoka need to invite me for a one-on-one, -on -one, let's say three-hour meeting with him. Then I can draw for him a strategy which he can use for the next six months. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye. And by the way, William Ruto... Today, tear gassed <laughs> as Mio supporters. That's the first tear gas. They went to the IBC offices to demand for the reinstatement of uh, deputy CEO of IBC, who was kicked out of office. Yeah, so let us wait and see how things are going to unfold from that particular area. For now, Bye-bye.